Hey there, this is Chris Dev. In a couple of our previous videos, we've been building out some Tailwind nav bars. We did a Tailwind nav bar. We made it mobile responsive. We've also made a fixed Tailwind nav bar. In this one, I want to take a little bit of a different approach. We have sections here. On the right, we have some text. On the left, we have a header. And as we scroll, these headers are going to stay fixed. So they're going to be stuck to where they currently are until a new header comes in. This is a really fun effect that you can put on uh, your marketing websites, maybe your front end for maybe your like timeline, your about us, or you could even do it in your written articles and tutorials if you're designing out your own blog. So I really love this approach. It can also be used for sticky nav bars if you wanna do that as well. So let's go ahead and build this out. I'm gonna go to the Tailwind docs. I'm gonna search for sticky, and this is an amazing technique. We're gonna use position sticky to make this happen. And in CSS, it is one line, position colon sticky. So as you see here in the Tailwind docs themselves, there's a demo for sticky heading one, sticky heading two, sticky heading three, and four. So this is a fun effect, and all you have to do is really, down here you say sticky, and you say top is zero. So top is kind of how far from the top you want it to stick. Amazing. So here I have a brand new code pen. Open up settings. Let's add Tailwind All right there. Save and close. Okay. So to start us off, we are going to say min height is screen. We don't really need this since the content is going to go beyond this whole page, but it's okay. Let's go for padding of 10, background gray at 100. Okay, so that's good there. And then I'm going to add a containment class so that we can have our content not go to the edges. We're going to say div class is max width is maybe 6XL, MX auto right there. I'm also going to add a little bit of space to the top of this padding Y of maybe 40, just so we can get some spacing on the top and bottom so that we don't have our content kind of bumped up to the top of our screen. But I guess it wouldn't be since the padding 10 is there. It's okay. We're getting a little more. Okay. So next up, we're going to do a section right here. So let's style out a section first. And we're going to say right here, div, or you could even use the section tag right here. And I'm going to say div right here. And this is going to be div h2. This is going to be our intro right there. And then here we're going to have div. And then inside of this, a p tag. And we'll keep it there. And I'll type lorem and press tab. So lorem is a really cool shorthand to just give us a paragraph right there. Okay, so let's add a little bit more styling. Let's go for our H2. That's probably the easiest one. Let's go for font is extra bold and text is 2XL. I know this is getting a little hard to read. Let me zoom out a little bit, 18. That's okay. So next up, we need these to sit side by side. So let's go for class. Here is flex. Side by side, space. Y, our X is maybe 10, get some really big padding in between. And then let's set a width for this class is width is maybe two sixth. And then here we'll say class is width is four sixth. Okay, and the reason I'm doing that is because our sections below are gonna be wider text. We're gonna have more than just this word intro. So I'm just accommodating for it now. All right, a little bit more styling on this. Let's go for leading snug there. And let's add a couple more P tags. One, two. And let's add some spacing in between those P tags with space Y of maybe four, five. And if you want to know more about the space Y and space X classes, I have a video on that. Okay. So that's gonna be good for our section there, I believe. The next step here is to take this section right here, and I'm going to copy it and let's paste it a few more times. One, two, three, four. Okay, and now they're all kind of bumped up right next to each other. So let's go to the top parent right here and say space Y is maybe 10. 
or maybe even larger. Let's get a bit more room in there, 32. And now we don't need this padding Y40. Let's drop this down to 20 maybe. Actually, we don't need it at all. Okay. So now we have the foundation for our page and it actually looks pretty good, right? We don't need to do the sticky thing, but the sticky thing is gonna add an extra bit for us. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say right here on this div, sticky and top is 10 because I don't want it to be bunched up to the very top. I want it to be 10 off of the top. So that should be around 40 pixels in Tailwind World. But you notice that it's not working just yet. And the reason for that, if I right click inspect element, this is a trick because if there is a sticky element inside of a Flexbox element, it's not gonna stick. And the reason because if I hover over this, notice how that div is the entire height of the parent. So HTML and CSS are saying, well, you want me to stay stuck to something, but I'm the entire div height, so I don't know what to do. So here I'm gonna to go to this flex box and say items start. So each one of these is gonna be bunched up to the top. Normally they're stretched to the entire height of the parent div, but now each of these children, if I click here, hover over this one, each of these children is only gonna be the height of its contents. So item stretch is default, item start is how we get each one to just be part of their content. So as I scroll down, notice that one gets stuck and I'm gonna go take this one right here, sticky and top 10, go down to the bottom, do the same for this right here. So anywhere I see width is two six. So there's that one, there's that one, and there's that one. I'm going to add sticky and top 10. Okay, so that looks good there. That looks good there. And intro, so check that out. Looks really good so far. Let's go ahead and change out some of these headers. You know what I should do is I should hide some of these sections. It's a little hard to read. So I'm gonna click this arrow, hide those. I'm gonna say intro. Let's say adding code pen. And let's say adding Tailwind, styling the button. Do we have one more? Yeah, and then we'll call this conclusion. All right, so there we go. We have the ability to stick that. This gets stuck. Oh, it doesn't get stuck. Why don't you all get stuck? Let's double check these. Oh, I didn't put item start on these. So let's go flex right here, SpaceX 10. And we're going to say items start. Okay. Ooh, almost missed that one. So now if we scroll intro, adding code pen, adding tailwind, styling the button and conclusion. So that looks really, really good there. Really fun effect just by using the sticky class and using a little bit of flex box. But now if I scroll here, it gets to be a little bit too cramped. So what I can do is say only on medium is flex gonna take place. So that works there. And then only on medium are these widths going to take place. So by default, they're gonna be full width. Only on medium does space X10 take place right here. And that is looking good. But notice how it's still sticky because we uh, have it sticky there. We can actually give this a background of white well, it's not white, it's gray through 100. So we're gonna match the background, right? And as we scroll, notice how it kind of stays like that. So the way to fix this is if we say top is zero. So now it gets bunched up to the top and now it kind of looks like a header. We give it a little bit of a padding. Let's go for padding Y of 10. That's maybe too much. Let's go padding Y of four. And as I scroll, it stays there. And then we can do the same effect for the other ones. But right now, this one looks good for staying there. This one does that. And then as we grow, the top one should go back to normal. So that's how we can make this responsive. I'm gonna keep this one responsive and then the other ones are just gonna stay as they are. So you can go ahead and fork this code pen, add it yourself. But overall, I think this is a fun tactic. 
for building out these sidebar sticky navs. Now, let me know if you like this video. We are definitely going to continue on this navigation in Tailwind series. We have the top nav bar. We have a fixed nav bar. We have stickies now. We are going to do side nav and off-campus navigations next. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next ones.